Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Bliss Studio Hobbies. So, hello, hi, welcome to another diamond painting video. So, today is the first day of October. Welcome to October and goodbye September. So today we're going to do a diamond painting um, month in review for the month of September. I'm going to show you all the projects that I worked on for the month of September. How does that sound? Well, first I've worked on uh, um, seven diamond painting kits of various sizes and two special projects. So these are my, um, what I have here are my two special projects that I worked on. I worked on a bag and those two bookmarks that I just unboxed on the channel. I unboxed both of these on the channel. Um, if you want to take a moment and um, look at those videos, everything you see in this video products wise will be linked in the description box down below if you would like to check them out. So first, let's talk about this bag here. This is a little tote bag. Um, I can't remember what size it is. Um, it will be linked down below so you can check it out yourself, the size and everything. But it's a diamond painted tote bag. It's a bumblebee. I thought it was so cute with the sunflowers, with the little flowers and the bee and all special drills. Um, I It was so fun to work up. It took me about an hour, I would say. It took me an hour. And I just thought it was so cute and fun. So yeah, it was fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was quick to work up. I didn't have any issues with the drills or the stickiness of the canvas. Yeah, and it's a nice little bag where you can put some diamond painting supplies, pins, extra drills, whatever you want in this little cute tote bag. So yeah, that was my first special project of the month of September. What do you guys think? I just love these. I think I'm gonna get a couple more of these bags. What I'm going to store in it, I don't know. Trays, diamond painting pins, all types of things that you can store in your bags. Or if you're traveling somewhere and diamond painting, say at work like some people do, <laughs> you can put your diamond painting supplies in there and carry it with you. So I just thought that was a fun, neat idea and I really enjoyed it. So I'll probably be trying out more diamond painting canvases on the tote bag. So that is project number one. So my second special project are these bookmarks. I um, purchased these from Hobby Lobby. They are by Diamond Dots. And um, wait, I don't know. I will try to find these on their website to link them down below, but I did purchase them in store. So I will try to find them on the website, but I did purchase them in store. If you don't see them down below, that is why I couldn't find them on the website. But yeah, these are bookmarks. They are super cute. They were so fun to work up. They were pretty quick. Um, I didn't have any issues with the uh, drills or the drill field or anything. You add the little tassel. I love the designs here because they look like cross stitch designs. Now I don't cross stitch, um, but the this finished product look like cross stitch design. So I really like that. I love both of them. It's like a thick plastic that the canvas is on. Yeah, great stick, no issues. Um, yeah, so that's my second special project of the month. Those two uh, special projects were so fun to work on. So fun. I have been really enjoying the special projects now. All right, my first diamond painting finish. All right, so this is my first diamond painting finish. It is Jack-O-Lantern Time um, by Randall Spangler from Diamond Art Club. This is a 41 by 41 centimeter round diamond painting. This diamond painting has 42 colors, three ABs, and two glow-in-the-dark drills. So... Sorry if you hear a dog barking. So I will include a picture of the glow in the dark um, at the end of this. But yeah, I was so surprised that there was glow in the dark drills. I know the moon is, has glow in the dark drills. And I don't quite remember what else, where else the glow in the dark drills were. Because I completed this like the third or fourth day of September and it's October 1st today. So yeah, I really, this was my first Randall Spangler, first of all. I really enjoyed working on this kit. I just could not stop. Like it took me three to four days. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, 
There were several areas of color blocking confetti, which I love. That's very satisfying for me. Um, and it was quick to work up. So I have no, no issues with this one. So fun. My first Randall Spangler. Um, so this is Jack-O-Lantern Time from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Randall Spangler. 42 colors. And that includes three ABs and two glow in the dark drills. How fun. So um, I will insert the glow in the dark portion here. Well, hello everyone. I am inserting this little clip because I forgot to tell you guys that this diamond painting is the 100th diamond painting that I've ever done. Oh my gosh, how could I forget to mention that in the video? So yeah, this is the 100th diamond painting. So I have completed over 100 diamond paintings now. That is amazing and awesome. And I was so happy to reach this goal. Um, I did try to make this glow. I had it up to the light, fluorescent light. I tried all different type of things. I tried to have my husband help me. And the only thing I could get to glow was the moon. So I will insert a picture of the moon glowing here. So yeah, if I can find a picture, I did see someone that was able to get everything to glow. The outline of the dragon is supposed to glow too and it looks so cute, but I don't know. I just could not accomplish it. I know it's supposed to be in the light. I had it in the light for hours and then I turned off the lights and I just could not get it to work. I don't know. I could not get it to work. I could see in person, I can see the glow of the outline in the moon and it was so beautiful. But when I took a picture of it, the only thing that would glow was the moon. I don't know why it didn't translate into the picture, but if, I, like I said, I have seen people accomplish it and taking a picture of it. If I can find a picture of it, I will insert it or I would just keep trying. I'll let it um, charge up for another couple of hours and then I will try to get a picture of my own as well. I just wanted to come back on and let you guys know those couple of things. 100 diamond painting. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let's get back to the regular video. Bye-bye. All right, guys. So that is my first diamond painting completion for the month of September. All right. So my second completion for the month of September is Flaming Sunflower. So I purchased this off of Amazon. It is a 40 by 30 centimeter round diamond painting. There are 20 colors in this diamond painting. Um, this is a diamond painting that I wanted to purchase for a while. I did get a smaller size and it came out pretty good for the size, but I'm seeing it in much larger sizes and it's absolutely stunning. So this diamond painting did not have any ABs or anything like that. Um, there were a couple of things with this canvas. The middle of the sunflower here, was really blurry. I will insert a picture of what I mean here. All right, so as you can see, the middle of the sunflower was blurry. I had to really concentrate, but I was able to complete it um, once I set focus in. So it was really blurry. So if you have problems with your eyes, that may be a problem. Um, and then when I was kidding up, the drills were like dirty and dusty. So I, they like, yeah, they were really dirty and dusty. I know I have seen some people wash their drills out, but I wasn't going to, going to do that. So I just put them in a sandwich bag with a paper towel and shook them around and got the little dirt and grime off, but they were really dirty. And I'm like, what's going on here? I've never experienced that, honestly. This was the first time. So uh, those two things. And then there were two symbols that were pretty close in color and, um, there were the brown drills. They were pretty close in colors. And like I said, the area was blurry. So it was hard for me to complete. But with all that being said, I did enjoy this diamond painting. Will I purchase it again with those issues? Yes, I absolutely would. Um, I think it turned out really good for the size. And I've been really enjoying these snack size 40 by 30 diamond paintings that I can put in my portfolio. So yeah, that was my completion number two for the month of September. Sorry if it was like a little negative, but I just wanna be honest about my experience with each diamond painting. But yeah, that's completion number two. 
All right, completion number three for the month of September. Oh my gosh, look how cute this little guy is. This is Halloween Pug by Diamond Art Club. The artist is Marilyn Casanave. It is a 56 by 56 square drill diamond painting. Here we have 36 colors. That includes two AB. So we had two AB drills, a yellow and a red. Um, I really, really enjoyed this diamond painting as well. There were two symbols. It was the E and the F. The E and the F kind of looks similar sometimes. And then the color was very similar. Um, so I did have a little bit of trouble deciphering those. They were both like uh, tan colors here. So it's kind of hard to decipher them, but the area is small. So, you know, it is what it is there. Um, then my drills were really clumped together for this kit, like really clumped together. So now I have that grinder that helps you unclump uh, the drills. And this is the kit that really, really want, this is the kit that really made me want to get that because the drills were just clumped together so badly, especially the black drills. They were really clumped together. But I think this diamond painting turned out super cute. I love it. It is, look how little pug with its little leaves and the pumpkin and hat i love it love it this kit and the jack-o-lantern time i completed for drills and chills 2022 and uh festival of witches 2022 for those two diamond painting events so i completed those two canvases in the month of september for those events but yeah that's um halloween pug by diamond art club artist marilyn kazanave 36 colors, 2AB square drill diamond painting. What do you guys think of this one? I absolutely love it. Let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, this diamond painting here is colored leaves. I'm gonna do it this way. So hard for me to get these in. I will figure it out one day. This is colored leaves by Timmy Arts. Um, this is a 40 by 65 centimeter diamond painting with 35 colors. So we have 35 colors and there were several ab's in this but from looking at the legend i cannot decipher which colors were ab's and which were not but there were ab's in the blue leaf here ab's and the green leaves and ab's and the orange leaves so i believe there were three ab's blue green and orange but i love this diamond painting i love the fall leaves i think it came out so cute um the thing that i had with this canvas is they have white guide circles around each symbol and the white guide circles you can kind of see if the drills are not placed perfectly so I had to go back through and make sure everything was lined up because you can see like little white spaces in between the drills. So that was kind of tedious and slightly annoying, but it turned out beautiful. And I mean, you need to, you should try to place your drills good anyway. So I'm like, oh, then as long as it turns out good, that's fine. So yeah, Colored Leaves by Timmy Arts, 30 colors, 30 colors in this. It is a square diamond painting with three ABs. I believe it was only three ABs. So yeah, I got this one from Timmy Arts off of Amazon. So I did purchase this off Amazon, but it's a, it is a Timmy Arts. I really enjoyed working this one up. Yeah, it's so pretty. I love all the fall leaves. Everything's getting me into the fall season. Love it, love it, love it. That's completion number four for the month. All right, the next two diamond paintings that I completed were moon one and moon four uh they're both from art dot they are from that art dot four pack that i unboxed on the channel um these two diamond paintings are both 40 by 30. this moon one is the first one that i completed 40 by 30 like i said it is a 24 color round diamond painting and it was a part of that art dot four pack that i unboxed on the channel I did not write anything down with this painting. Um, so with this painting, you guys know how I've um, discussed in my other art dot paintings, how the glue was slippery and all of that. And 
you know, things like that. So with this painting, the glue was not slippery at all. Um, the color blocking was very satisfying in this one. So I like the moon and everything and the girl did not turn out as well as I would like, but this is a 40 by 30. So I really did not expect her to be crystal clear, but this is supposed to be her face. And it looks kind of just like the back of her head. I'm fine with the way it turned out because of the size. I knew going into it that it wouldn't be super clear. But it was fun. And I think it's a cute little painting. I love like the skyline and the moon. And I just, I think it's a good image. And I like it, you know. I just wish there was more clarity. Um, but it is what it is for the size. And yeah, I think it turned out really well. And this second one, Moon 4. Same thing here. I This is supposed to be a person, but it's not super clear because of the size. Look at this. I love, this was very satisfying to diamond paint the back, the back um, background. Very satisfying to diamond paint. I love the little tree. The purples and blues in here were so cute. These diamond paintings, uh, the same thing with this one. Um, it was not slippery at all. There were some areas where the glue wasn't as sticky as I'm used to, but it did not affect my placing of the drills or anything, and it turned out pretty good. I love that these both both of these come flat in that four pack, so I love those. Yeah, I would absolutely buy this again and re and recommend the art dot paintings because they were fun. I'm sorry, guys. A plastic bag just fell over and I'm like, what is happening? Who's in here with me? But anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. That really scared me. But yeah, these were fun to work on. And yeah, I mean, 40 by 30s. This one has 25 colors and this one has 24. And they're both by Art Dot. So yeah, guys, I did complete two out of the four of the Art Dot paintings. And I, I really liked them and they were fun to work up. Color blocking here and then the skyline here is were my favorite parts of those paintings. So there is those two. So my last diamond painting for the month of September is Gnome Pumpkin from Amazon. So I unboxed this recently on the channel. <laughs> It's from Amazon. I thought this was so cute. I did not anticipate finishing this as quickly as I did. It took me, I'm gonna say two days. Two days to complete this. I think it was two days. I could have completed it in one day, but I stopped myself and I said, you know what? I have other things that I need to get done. So I had to stop myself. But yeah, I completed this in two days. It was super fun to work up. It is Gnome Pumpkin from Amazon. It is a 30 by 40 round diamond painting. Um, I didn't really have any issues with this one. You see this checkerboarding in the background? I really, really loved working on that. It was very satisfying. And then this pumpkin at the top, I love working on that as well. Those are my two favorite parts of the canvas. The little gnomes are cute. We have a sunflower. I didn't have any issues with this canvas. I'm gonna have to set it you know, for a while because there's still that crinkle, but that's not an issue for me. There were no ABs in this canvas. Um, this is 25 colors and it will be linked down below as well. What do you guys think? I finished one from um, that unboxing. So yeah, I had seven finishes for this month of diamond painting and two um, special projects. I really had fun this month. I was hoping to finish one more diamond painting, but I'm not even halfway done with it. So that's that. So yeah, guys, those are my completions for the month of September. What do you think of everything I completed? And have you completed any of these diamond paintings? All right, guys, that is all I have for you guys today. 
Let me know down below how many projects did you complete in the month of September. It's been a busy month of diamond painting and fun for me, and I hope to accomplish just as much in October. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for you guys. If you love diamond painting, crafting, and all things hobbies, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with a friend. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.